Hello and welcome, Peaceful Patrick here with another update. And this time it is also energy, but it's more in a context of business, of our livelihood, how we generate the, the flow of abundance with ease that many of us still need. Not all of us are on high pensions, high salaries that we don't get for nothing, or infinite wealth that allows us just to live. So these new energy updates are particular for business owners, founders, entrepreneurs, professionals. People who are in a space of exchanging their services, their products to, to enlighten the world, to be part of a new world, but at the same time create the abundance that they need in order to do that. So Sonic Sonkos and, and Sonkos Worlds, we are also in this position, so you're not alone. So what is happening currently? In the outside world, we are, we are bombarded, if you are listening to the news or not, but we are bombarded by crisis, economic issues, inflation, all these kind of things. How do you deal with that as a business owner, as a professional? If you're employed, many of us are considering, is my job safe? Is it sustainable? Will my company keep me? I'm not in this anymore for more than 10 years and I'm very grateful for that, but still, I know about this. I went through three or four restructures within a time of three years, four years maybe. And so I know what that feels like. As business owners, as founders, as entrepreneurs, we are wondering what, what is it what I'm offering at this moment to the world. And it's for you if you are not just chasing the money. It's for you because you have some value to give in whatever form, shape or energy. But you are also in that Aini, in that reciprocal relationship with your clients that gives you the abundance and the environment to actually do that, to produce, to serve in whatever form or shape or energy you do that. So what is happening in that space? Well, many changes. And for some of us, it's even letting go what we have done in the past. For some of it, for some of us, it's re considering, resetting, and really listening to that compass within. I had a wonderful conversation with a dear friend of mine, and she has just written this morning about the compass that one of her people in her book follow through the darkness. And there's a lot of parallels and metaphors. We are all in that space. There's a lot of unknown outside and really nobody can really predict. We can see a potential. We can be part of that beautiful new consciousness that is being created and new energy, but we can't predict it. But well, you can never predict anything. And so, it is really important to find our compass. It's really important to understand. The compass is the heart. So business owner, professionals, creatives, whatever you are doing, it is a time to reset. It's a time to go really deep, to allow the old wounds not to break open, but it's like another test are you still in the drama or not? Doesn't mean that you don't listen, doesn't mean that you resist. It means 
yes, this wound, I own it. Partially, I accept the creation of it, and I'm aware of the other factors that contributed. But I'm not only responsible for not making that happen again, but to create an energy in the world that doesn't go back into the wound, into the victim, into the drama, as you have experienced, and of course, how it showed up in the world. So what does that mean practically? Stand up tall, in my yoga teacher training, they always said shoulder loop, open your eyes, go into your heart, listen to your compass. These last couple of days, solar, uh, not solar, lunar eclipse and and the full moon, they're, they're really pushing us really, really hard. Embrace that. It's okay. You have prepared for being here today. And that compass in your heart is much stronger, has much more light than anything that is on the outside. So what does that mean for us here in Songkos Worlds and the Sonic Songkos. Well, we are also reconsidering, resetting. For a long time, what I wanted to do was the classes and, and the long journeys with people to accompany everybody to get from where they are to where they want to go. And maybe, maybe this is not here anymore. It doesn't mean I reject someone who wants to do that. But it's not something that I'm pushing anymore. So when you get into your compass, that is the light in the dark, into the unknown, the unwritten, the uncharted, but this is also the emerging archetypes of ascension. We need to be open to let go what was so important to us, maybe even two months ago. So for us that means our focus in privates that are partially on me and often with, with Ceci. It's the dare sessions. One session, 90 minutes, we explore what's happening for you, where you are at and where you dare to be. Things are always coming up. It's not a prediction. It's not a script. It's fully attuned to your energy. So for business owners who are really trying to figure out what am I doing now to professionals who are like, and what comes next? It's not about looking at what comes next. It's about exploring what is happening right here, right now. And how can you step into your own potential? So their sessions are on. I follow my compass, my heart. And as always, I'm not overdoing it because I cannot be present to 100 people a week. So it will be two or three, maybe five a week. In addition, the dancing dialogue has really been a huge pleasure to both those who are dancing with me and myself and, and, and Ceci to edit and make it pretty and all of that. So the dancing dialogues will be really, really on. And there's more people joining in over time. And so this is a very exciting part. The other one is a little bit more behind the scenes. It's about getting our shop ready so you can do self-discovery in your own space and to your own pace. Nice and short, nothing too hard, but with a huge effect for you new treasures to be unlocked and for you to just being able to ride that wave. So the book, Ride the Wave into the Heart, still being edited. Editors have other things to do too, especially when it's people who have another life too. But it's coming. Ceci will start with the illustrations soon. I'm writing on the second book. 
and we're also looking at the retreat menu again so we had the first people here this is very very exciting and so we're making the first adjustments and we will be with collaborators meaning small hotels lodges bnbs who accommodating people anyway and like to offer our ceremonies and experiences meditative and more on the discovery side so this is what's happening but we're also looking for collaborators who have a group and people who want to come down to peru and have their retreat menu so this is what's cooking on the back so you can see on many levels there's a lot of stepping back we're not that crazy and busy anymore the content writing and content production is still a big part whether it's writing mainly on linkedin whether it's videos on youtube sound story whatever comes intuitively we're sharing it so i hope that update helped you a little bit to understand what's happening for yourself but also what is happening in this world on the outside and how it affects the inside while all of us need to step out of drama on our own we're all on our own path but yet we are all together in this and if it suits you we would love to be part of this of your journey of your choice of you really unlocking your compass and get on your way so thank you so much for being here today since we have already gone I see almost 12 minutes I feel maybe a little sound can still help you and so while it's not a helping as in rescue as in fixing something for you it's a help in regards to helping you to find maybe part of your sound in your compass in your heart so that you can see beyond the drama beyond the game and the show that is going on and find yourself and your important role and maybe that emerging archetype that gold print that is coming through for you and how you will create more abundance in Aini, the sacred reciprocal relationship with one another. Not only humans to human, but also nature, spirit, and all there is. So if you wish, just close your eyes for a moment as we are simply connecting to your compass. That brings you that little bit of energy and light that may brighten up your day to day. And that may bring us into a closer relationship with each other. you got a little glimpse and it's beautiful to be here with you together thank you so much and please share in the comments what is the value for you how does that enlighten your way how how can how can we collaborate and how can I make this update even more effective and valuable for you. So thank you for today, from my heart to yours.